guys, what's going on? So today, 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 we're doing something kind of fun, a little different, a little funky. Um, we're going to do kind of a palette video. So I love, I love, love eyeshadow palettes. I love them. Um, <laughs> but I will say I tend to skew a little neutral. So I wanted to dive into you guys, like <laughs> dive in with you guys, not into you, but with you, uh, into my favorite colorful palettes. So I have picked five with two honorable mention, five colorful palettes that I love and use all the time from the, uh, perspective of a neutrals girl. You know, I prefer a neutral and I prefer, I will say I prefer a neutral palette with like a pop of something like a little funky something or other. That way it's not just browns, you know, cause I can may have a dozen palettes of browns. I don't want a dozen palettes of browns. I want a like 10 browns and then like two really cool shades that like really amp it up. And you know, even when I do have like a neutral palette, I can pop like a glitter topper on top or something, you know, something like that. From the perspective of a neutrals girl, these are my favorite colorful palettes and uh, let's jump into it. All right, so my first favorite colorful palette is actually the Violet Boss Forget Me Not palette. This is a blue toned palette. This is number five for the reason that I don't wear a lot of blue, but when I do, I, I go to this palette. Um, and it has just like these really cool, just awesome metallics. And the mattes are like good shades for me. I will say if there was a change I could make to this palette, I wish what, like, I wish one of these was much, much darker, much darker because it is kind of hard to build up a look, but cause normally I have to tap into this metallic or this metallic. So it can kind of do some funky stuff. But if I wanted to use like this or this as like a liner that I can do just fine. If I want to just like deepen up my lash line. But if I want to do something kind of light and bright and pretty, this is like an easy palette to go to for blues. Awesome blue palette. And it's very small and like travel friendly. So if you are a makeup artist or if you just are kind of an on the go person and you like a good funky palette to take with you, this one's a really good one. Uh, I would say it's, I would say since it's summertime, you could really rock like all these like aqua blues and all this stuff, especially like pool day. Like I know that people don't wear makeup at the pool. I understand that. But sometimes you want to wear makeup at the pool. You know what I'm saying? You just, okay. So number four is actually a little bitty baby palette and it is the elf, uh, bite size palette in the shade hot jalapeno. So I wouldn't consider this like, I guess a big colorful palette per se, but if you need a green palette, I mean, this is like four bucks, three bucks, four bucks. I think it's four bucks. Uh, yeah, it's four bucks. And this metallic is awesome. And this metallic is awesome. And then you have these two greens. You can really build a look. You can really deepen that thing up. If you want something dark and smoky green, you can have it with this palette. But if you want something a little lighter, you can really just leave this kind of light washed. Or honestly, even if you ha wanted to go like a brown look and just wanted a cool, funky green metallic, you have this. So if you're like a neutrals gal like myself and you want something like this to kind of add color to your collection, this is perfect. And it's very inexpensive and the quality is just really, really nice here. I'll actually swatch them. So you have like a limey green and you have definitely this more goldy green, almost like just a yellow, but it's just really, really pretty. So this, like, like I said, it pulls almost more yellow, but this is very limey 
and very, very fun and pretty. And I just, I just love this little palette. So definitely, definitely a good pick. This is number four. So before I do number three, I do have two, two honorable mentions. I know this is a pick five, like a, my five favorite palettes, but so you got to understand these two are definitely one of my, are my favorite, like colorful palettes. They're definitely up there. The problem is you can no longer get them, you know? So it's kind of, if you already have them, great. Definitely. You understand what I'm talking about. If you don't have them, that's kind of where I don't like to talk about stuff you really just cannot get under any circumstance, unless you were to go like eBay or something crazy. I don't, I don't like the idea of purchasing cosmetics off eBay. It sounds a little sketch, but I know people do buy cosmetics off of Poshmark. They buy it off of, uh, just several different sites. You can buy cosmetics, but you know, so these two, you can no longer buy or purchase from their original sellers. So that's how I can state that. The first one is the Jackie Ina palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. And for me, this is definitely a very colorful palette when I do it a certain way. So with this, I do have um, several neutrals, especially in this area. Very, very, very neutral. But this over here, you're getting dark royal purple. You're getting a bright pink, a red, a purple, like duochrome kind of situation. Like these very, these can make a very colorful, super like brilliant look, like a very awesome, like purpley pinky. Oh my God. And not to mention Wigglies is like this red. It's, oh, it can be, it can be stunning. So I would say for me and my preferences, this can be very, very colorful. And just unfortunately, you can no longer buy it because it was a collaboration. But if you already have it, which I know a lot of people have this palette and love this palette, you will understand that this is just one of my favorite colorful palettes. So this is an honorable mention. Don't come for me because I did more than five. And then my other honorable mention is the at forest site palette by Rob beauty, Christie and color pop. I thought you could still get this until I sat down to make this video. And then turns out you can't still get it. Her collab is still available on ColourPop, but it's like only the lip products and the super shocks. So no palette, no palette and no eyeliners because she did have eyeliners. But so this is a very colorful palette, <laughs> at least for me. Um, some people may be like, no, those are just like dark colors. And no, this is colorful. Uh, you have this beautiful blue, green, purple, pink, like this lovely mustard shade. This looks pretty red, like burnt orangey on camera. That's kind of how I would describe it. It's like an, a brownie red shade. And oh my God, the only like true neutral brown in this palette is this one here. And I, I use that all the time. Um, but it has this lovely duochrome shade. Let me show it to you if you haven't saw it before. So here's that shade there. I think it's evergreen. Yeah, it's called evergreen. And it has like this really neutral taupey green shift to it. Super pretty. Oh, it's just so nice on the lid. You can do it all over. Honestly, that's like a one shadow eye look right there because of how multidimensional it is. And not to mention this gorgeous, gorgeous metallic like gold. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's a delight. Also, I wiped off the other swatch. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it was kind of like the hot jalapeno where it's so bright and metallic that it's practically yellow. Like it's a metallic yellow, ultimately. <laughs> like it's that bright. 
and it's that much of a bright yellow gold. Just stunning, colorful. You can make all sorts of like deep, just royal kind of looks. Very, because these aren't muted shades per se, but they're just deep. They're deep shades and that's why I just love it. I just love this palette and I love the colors available in it. Oh, it's just so good. But unfortunately you cannot buy it from ColourPop anymore. So if it's not available, but if you already have it, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't have it and you were to randomly find it on Poshmark or you were to if just somebody was selling it that maybe, or maybe one of your friends had it, at least you know that this is uh this is a delight and I love it. So you can take my word that I love it. And if you like all the things that I like, then you'll probably like this. It seems like pretty good logic to me, right? You know, I'm just saying, okay. Okay. So top, top three, top three, let's, let's get, let's get it finished. Let's talk about these palettes, shall we? Okay. Fantastic. So number three is the Kaleidos Futurism four, four. Yes. No, six. Sorry, this is a six. Uh, I was looking, I was reading my Roman numerals backwards for a second, but this is a six. So it's the lunar lavender. Long story short, hey, this is the Kaleidos Futurism lunar lavender. Let's try not to do Roman numerals on camera when it's like uh, eight thirty at night for me. <laughs> so I'm like, so this is gorgeous. So none of the palettes I really own are rainbow palettes. I'm not a big rainbow palette person. I just not, it's not for me. When I do color, I do like a color story, you could say. So definitely I love the lavender. I love lavender. And then this duochrome, super, uh, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, it is just so reflective and beautiful and lovely. And you can take this like uh, lavender metallic and put it in your inner corner. You can put it all over the lid. You can do a super neutral look and pop that on your lid or on your inner corner and it'll look beautiful. And it's just, oh, it's so good, it's so good. This is my kind of stuff right here. Like this is whenever I do color, I do. I do a color story oftentimes. And I do have several other Futurism palettes but I have not dove into those like I've dove into this one. I've used this one many times at this point and just lovely. It's just a fantastic color story. It's something I gravitate towards. So I don't know. It's just, you know, I, I just think this is a great option, especially if you've been wanting to try Kaleidos and you wanted to try just one palette or whatever. Uh, you could definitely trust that this one's going to be a good one. If this is kind of your color story that you like, if you like lavender, go for it. If you're a purples person, go for it. Uh, they do normally have like a bundle deal where if you buy three, you save a whatever amount of money. It's not like a huge massive savings, but you do save like, like five bucks, six bucks. That's something. So if you were wanting to try Kaleidos, you could try three if you wanted, but if you just were going to buy one, I would definitely, I would feel very comfortable suggesting the Lunar Lavender. Okay. So this one is a new palette. And honestly, this is kind of the reason I wanted to make this video. Um, because I just realized I, I like colorful shadow, but I just don't have a lot of it. Uh, and this really was like, yeah, yeah. I need that. It's a colorful palette and I don't normally run for those, but I wanted it really bad. So this palette's definitely, it's definitely part of the reason I didn't make this whole video. And that is the Candy Skies palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This was her collaboration with her niece and oh, I love this palette. Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this so much. Uh, um, when I did my video, I did like a really bright, like, purpley pinky thing, but I, the, uh, just, uh, like two days ago, I took a uh, peach ring and toasted caramel and I put that all over the lid. I did like a whole big, like orangey, yellowy, peachy situation all up in the crease. 
And then I took Cloudy and I put it all over the lid. Oh, that is a duochrome. It's just so good with really anything in this palette, but it looked stunning with these two orangey shades, which, you know, at first you think, oh, it looks a little green. I can put it with green or it looks a little purple. I can put it with the purples. Put it with these oranges if you haven't yet. It's stunning. It's just, it's just gorgeous. And because it definitely can pull very like red purple. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's so, it's lovely. And then this white is a very nice stark white, but you're able to blend edges with it. You can put it in your inner corner to really brighten it up if you want. And then just, oh man, just all the metallics are amazing. These little minty shades over here, super fun, super pretty, very summery. You can do just an inner corner thing. You can do one color all over the lid and it really, it's amazing. I love it. I love it so much actually. So I definitely, definitely suggest this palette. If you can get your hands on it, I do believe it's still for sale. Well, I know it is for sale cause I don't think it's like a limited edition collaboration, but I don't know if it's out of stock, but if it is out of stock and if it comes back, definitely pick it up. It's definitely worth your money. So are the lip glosses, by the way, those lip glosses I've been using like every day I'm using, I have one on right now and I just put it on really lightly over like a lip liner. I love those glosses. I've been using them like crazy. So this just all around was a great collaboration, but this palette is uh, just, it's amazing. So definitely pick this one up. If you've been thinking about it, if you can pick it up, pick it up. So my first favorite eyeshadow palette, my colorful palette that I love the most in my whole collection, I'm actually wearing it today. I'm doing like a, kind of like a yellowy greeny situation that we've got going on here. Uh, I actually really like it a lot. I like yellow with brown eyes. I know a lot of people say that purple with brown eyes is like really popping. I really like yellow, like a mustard yellow with brown eyes. I just think it, it makes them look so dark, you know, or at least for me, cause I have very dark brown eyes. Uh, they borderline black actually. So they're a very, very dark brown and they get really dark if I'm like upset or, uh, stressed out, they get very dark. Uh, it's kind of funny actually. Uh, but yeah. So people think when I look at them with an aggressive face, they think I'm like going to hurt them or something. And I would never, that's not me. But so my favorite colorful eyeshadow palette is actually the So Jaded palette. Uh, this is by ColourPop. And this came out two years ago, two years ago, I think. But I bought it pretty much instantly the second it dropped. But just today I went super, super basic. I have um, citrine all over my crease. And then I literally just, that was it. I just built that up and blended that out. It's super pigmented. And then I put Peridot all, all over my lid and then to tone it down just a touch to make it a touch more like mustard yellow, I bring it back. I put Topaz on top, which is, uh, definitely has a green tinge in there. So that kind of meshed well with the Peridot. So that's kind of what I went with. And then that's actually all I did. I just put that a little all over the, uh, lower lash line too, just not quite so heavy. So this is a perfect colorful palette for me, especially. And I know this was uh, really popular when it came out. So I'm sure quite a few of you already have this palette, but this diamond shade down here, it's, it's you can use it for everything, everything. And I just, I like these deeper shades up here. You can really build up a look because it bothers me when you can't build something, you know, I, I want to be able to go from super blown out and light to dark. If I want to, I want to have it very structured if I want to, but if I don't want to, I also want a few light shades, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, this opal color, it's like a pressed glitter. Okay. And I know people are a little iffy on pressed glitters. I like pressed glitters. I really do. I know sometimes like the really big chunky ones, uh, can cause a problem if they were to get into your eye. 
I have never had a problem with something getting into my eye actually, but I tend to do very sparse glitter on my eyes. So I do have glitter on there today. You can see it ever so slightly, but it's definitely more noticeable in person. But this is just stunning. This beautiful like navy sapphire shade to be exact, it's called sapphire. But it's just that beautiful dark sapphire navy shade. And then turquoise is just a very punchy bright shade at the same time. And then so is emerald over here. It's hard to get greens, it really is. It's hard to do a green. And this green is just lovely. Let me show it to you. If you, I'm sure you saw this palette before, but it's just kind of hard to get greens right. And this metallic green is just so pretty and just, oh, it's so nice. So there are reds, there are yellows, there are oranges, this super bright lime green shade, uh, just everything you could need in just one palette. Of course you have purples and you have blues and the, and the turquoise, you have those bright punchy shades, but also importantly, they did make sure to add in some nice transition-y kind of shades because you can't have all these. I think that's the problem I t tend to have with rainbow palettes is that I don't have anything that's not quite so, uh, saturated that I don't have anything to kind of blend edges with. And for me, that's important. So I think that's why I tend to go with, uh, color stories and shades where like a palette where there's maybe three really bright shades, but then there's two or three more muted shades that I can blend those edges with and mess around with. And that's important to me. And so this is like my ideal colorful palette and I just love it so much. Okay guys. So that is it for me today. That is all I have to talk about on colorful eyeshadow palettes. And I will say I definitely tend to veer in the direction of, like I said, neutral palettes with a pop of something. And I also have a lot of punchy single shadows, bright, sparkly glitter toppers, things like that, you know, where it just really amps things up. So even if it's neutral, it is glittery. It's sparkly. I am not much for just a straight matte eye. And, but I also, I tend to have problems with going super bright and super crazy because sometimes with my eyes, uh, things just kind of get lost or they get a little muddy and I'm not a very structured person. So I like to just really blow stuff out and make it look really effortless. I don't know what to call that per se, but I just really, I just really like a good mix when it comes to my colorful palettes. And I feel like these all do have a really good mix to them. All right guys. So that is it for me today. Please subscribe if you have not done so. We're a good time here. We have a good time and we're getting pretty close to 200 subscribers, which is pretty fun. Uh, I feel like we just hit 100 just a while back. So we're, we're moving along. We're going, we're going, maybe I'll do like a short, like another, like a full giveaway, not a giveaway like the last one. Oh my God. The thing was massive, but maybe just a small one, just like a few items here and there. Well, maybe we can talk about a giveaway at 200 minus. So you might as well subscribe now that we will already be entered. You might as well do it. We'll talk more about it in later videos when we maybe think it through more. I literally decided just now that maybe we should do a giveaway at 200. So now I feel kind of like I need to do that. So, but I hope you guys have a great day, evening, weekends, weeknights, Thursday, whenever you're watching this. And, uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. See you later. Bye. This is why I have to go to the chiropractor because this is my natural sit up posture. Yeah. This is what, this right here, this is what happens when you got big old giant boobies. I'm a 38 triple D. 
This is what happens when you got big old boobies. People don't realize that, like, that's a thing, you know? And also, like, my traps are super strong. I've always had really strong traps, but then I also work construction, so, like, my traps are insane, in all honesty. But it's not a brag. If anything, it's kind of like, you know, I have to remember to sit back. Otherwise, I'm like... Alright, guys, so that is all for me today. I will... Uh, and the... the so it is a pretty neutral duochrome, but it has like this, pink, not pink, you know, if you're going to your grandma's dinner and maybe, you know, something like that, something like that. I don't know. Do what you want. Honestly. No, give a shit. Uh, you can, you could literally, if, if your grandma is cool with you wearing red, white, and blue sparkle glitter eyeshadow at her dinner table, do it, man. Honestly, life's short. Just <laughs> wear some some glitter. Let's quote that. Put that down below in the comments. If you've made it this far, please say, life's short, wear the glitter. 